Saving journal articles and their citations is easy with Zotero. Zotero can save journal articles, books, and web articles. Zotero must be open while you are researching to save this information. It is best to create a new folder for each paper or project you will be working on. To create a new folder, click the folder icon in the top left of the Zotero screen. You'll be prompted to enter a name for the folder. After entering the name, hit Enter to save it. When you are researching, make sure you have highlighted or selected the folder that you want your resources to be saved in. This keeps your work organized. Then minimize Zotero so that it is running in the background while you research. Go to the library homepage. EBSCO is a great database to start with because it covers many subjects and works very well with Zotero. Click on the EBSCO link in the right-hand column. This is the EBSCO search screen. Enter your search terms or keywords. This example is Research and Zotero. The word AND is acting as a computer command. AND tells EBSCO that we want both search terms, but they do not have to be right next to each other. Also, scroll down and limit your results to full text and scholarly peer-reviewed journals by checking each box below the search terms. By checking the boxes, you are telling EBSCO you want the full text of the article right on the computer and to make sure that your results are scholarly sources. Click the search button. 51 articles match our search. In the top right on Chrome, a yellow folder signifies that Zotero knows you have a list of sources. You can select all and save the first 10 all at once. However, this usually just clutters up the Zotero folder with articles that we may not want. To keep things simple, click on the title of an article that looks interesting and relevant to your topic. Clicking on the title takes us to the citation screen. The citation screen has all the information Zotero will need to create citations in your paper. This includes the authors, the name of the journal, date, and page numbers. It also includes an abstract. The abstract is a paragraph that summarizes the entire paper. Notice that on this citation screen, the Zotero folder icon has changed to a piece of paper. We saw in the last video that this paper icon means that Zotero recognizes that this is a scholarly article. Click the paper icon and Zotero will save the information. In the bottom right, you will see a box pop up that shows that the citation and the full text is being saved. Once it is saved, you have the entire article and the citation information saved to your computer inside Zotero. Why does that matter? Whether or not you have internet access, if you are on an airplane, a bus ride to an athletic event, or if your internet connection goes down, you can still read the articles that Zotero has saved and you can highlight and make notes on the PDF document. That is how to save scholarly journal articles with Zotero and EBSCO. If you have further questions, contact us at the Steelman Library.